With 71% of our planet being covered in water, or the equivalent 333 million cubic miles of our planet purely being water, it may sound like a drop in the ocean to learn that in 2005, the US reported that it would draw about 410,000 million gallons of water per day. However, more shocking is that only about 11% of the water used in America is for personal domestic use. According to the data from the National Health and Nutrition Examination Surveys, the average American drinks a little more than four cups of plain water per day, which comes in at a staggering 50% less water per day than is suggested for each of us to consume to keep our bodies properly functioning. Even more staggering is that our average daily amount of total water Americans consume is about 3.18 liters or just a little over 13 cups per day. But with statistics showing that nearly 15% of that average consumption coming from beverages such as sodas, coffees, and other sports or juice beverages, other than just plain water itself, and with 18% of water intake coming from food. Some of us may think this sounds close enough to being healthy, but perhaps a deeper look into what water is actually doing for our bodies will change some of our dismissive perspectives. With each of our bodies using water in all its cells, organs, and tissues to help regulate body temperature and maintain a variety of other important bodily functions, it seems only logical that the following list of water's benefits is quite extensive. Here are some of the most notable benefits of drinking the proper amount of water each day. Increased brain function, increased natural energy, flushes out toxins and bacteria, aids in digestion, improves your complexion, helps prevent headaches, backaches, and cramps, it boosts your immune system, improves heart health, prevents bad breath, boosts your metabolism, helps with weight loss, helps maximize physical performance, lubricates joints, it carries oxygen throughout your body, helps regulate body temperature, it flushes out bodily waste, it carries nutrients and oxygen to your cells, normalizes blood pressure, and helps in maintaining electrolyte and sodium balance. And with the average adult being made of 55 to 60% water, it seems pretty crucial to get the proper amount of water and wonder what it is we're doing to our bodies if we neglect to do so. It turns out that an adult's brain and heart is almost entirely made of water, with only 25% of these organs containing other, anything other than pure water, whereas our lungs are a staggering 83% water and our bones are made up of roughly 31% water. Essentially, our bodies don't just need water to function, but are greatly made of water itself. It may be interesting to realize that each day, we each lose two to three liters of water throughout our breathing, sweat, and urine and bowel movements, making it even more pertinent to make sure that we are regularly drinking water throughout our day. And while there is no universally agreed quantity of water that must be consumed daily, studies have shown that our best suggestions for water intake for men is 2.5 to 3.7 liters of water per day, where women need around 2 to 2.7 liters of water per day. These amounts vary based on age, weight, overall health, and the amount of activity during your day. However, the variations for each individual usually stay within these suggested parameters. And just to give the skeptics out there a little room to feel content with not consuming the proper amount of water each day, it is in fact true that you can actually drink too much water, which can potentially end in fatal results, but only in the most extreme cases. However, very luckily, this is a rather unlikely event since you have to drink an enormous amount of water in a very short period of time. But to be more specific, generally, our bodies can intake an incredible amount of water, but can only get rid of 27 to 33 ounces of water, which is equivalent to 0.8 to 1 liters of water per hour. And with the numbers of unfortunate deaths for consuming too much water being reported to be only a handful of fatalities, it would seem that the likelihood of under-consuming the proper amount of water far outweighs the risk of drinking too much. 
And seeing as there is a little under four liters of water in a gallon, that would be assuming that you have to be drinking over a gallon of water every four hours or consuming over four gallons of water in a 16 hour day. Chances are you will never have to worry about this strange overconsumption of water as your body will almost never allow you to do this naturally as our minds and bodies know when to notify us when we are thirsty and when we are not in need of refreshment. But if you have any fear of possible overconsumption of water, here's the best rule of thumb to be safe. Simply keeping your water intake to less than one liter per hour will allow your body to be able to properly flush out the newly consumed water through its natural filtration. It seems pretty clear to me that drinking the proper amount of water per day is benefiting each of us far beyond keeping our bodies hydrated and functioning at its peak abilities. So who's thirsty?